Good morning, everyone. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my channel. I post new videos every Monday, so you should definitely subscribe and stick around. Today is Thursday, September 1st. Happy September. Fall is approaching. Um, and I am about to run to Walmart real quick. I need to pick up literally like two or three things. I'm about to do that real quick because I don't really want to leave the house again after that. I kind of want to stay home and do some work. I am just wearing this baseball hat with some braids because my hair is very greasy and I'm going to go to the gym when I get back. So I'm going to work out later. So I just have this t-shirt on from Gulf Shores and then some biker shorts. But let's go to Walmart and then when I get back, I'll show you what I get, but I'm literally getting like, like I said, two or three things. Like it's not a big grocery haul or anything, um, but I'll still show you. And then um, when I get back, I'm going to go to the gym. Hey guys, I am back from Walmart. I got a few more things than I thought I was going to. I said I wasn't gonna do any like grocery shopping for like meals or anything. But while I was in the store, I like thought of some things and picked up a few items. First up, juice. This is like the main thing I was going for because Elijah does not drink water or he will if he's out of juice. Like, but he's a juice soda guy. And then I also went to get chocolate syrup because we have like a huge gallon of milk because they didn't have any half gallons the last time I went to the store. The only way I'm going to drink the milk is if it's chocolate milk. So I got some chocolate syrup. Um, besides like putting milk in stuff like mac and cheese or like pancakes or something. If I'm just going to drink straight milk, I like it to be chocolate milk. Um, so these were the two things I was going for. And then I need more rice. So I picked that up. This is just long grain enriched rice. Got some more tortillas and then also I'm almost out of my Taco Bell sauce. So I just picked up another bottle. I prefer fire, but my Walmart never has it. So I just get hot, but fire would be my preference. So that's everything I got from Walmart, teeny tiny haul. But now I am about to go to the gym. I'm gonna do a full body workout um, that actually Whitney Simmons just posted recently on her Instagram. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So a little bit of upper body, a little bit of lower body. Um, and yeah. Let's hit it. Hey guys, starting off this full body workout, we are doing three sets of 10 dumbbell squats. And then moving into three sets of 12 seesaw overhead presses. This is my first time doing them, low key kind of hard. And then I did three sets of 10 goblet squats into reverse lunge. So you're going to do the goblet squat and then reverse lunge and then alternate legs each time. And then the last exercise is a superset. So doing three sets of 10 tricep pushdowns on the cable machine and then going right into 10 cable front raises. I am back from the gym. I just did like a 30 minute full body workout. Um, but now I am about to shower and then get dressed, do my skincare, all that. And then I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so I am out of the shower. Skincare routine is done. Hair is up in a turby twist. And I was just about to make lunch because I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm kind of very starving. But Elijah just called me and asked if I wanted anything from McDonald's. He must be coming on his lunch break, but I did get something from McDonald's. If you guys are curious as to what my order is, I get a $3 bundle, the six piece. So it's a six piece and a medium fry for $3. And then I also get a cheeseburger, only cheese, ketchup and pickles, um, which is just like a dollar. So that's what I get from McDonald's. But um, I am about to get started on some of my training. If you guys aren't aware, I am starting a new job in September. So I've been working on my training. So I'm going to work on that. I also wanted to show you guys, I got these black picture frames 
from Amazon and I hung them up and I think they are so cute. So we have pictures of Elijah and I here, here, and here. And then Rocco solo picture, Phoebe solo picture, and then the two of them snuggling together. So cute. But I just feel like this just, I like the vibe of this better. I feel like it ties in the room better. It also makes it feel more homey. So I really like these frames. Good morning, you guys. It is actually the next day. I did not vlog like at all yesterday, mainly because all I was doing was my training and that is very boring <laughs> to watch. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna do a lot of training again today, but I'm also gonna do other stuff today. So hopefully it'll be a little bit more exciting. But um, yesterday I did my training. Elijah got off work, um, we had dinner, and then we ended up watching the new Lil Baby um, documentary, and it was so good, I highly recommend. Elijah and I leave for Augusta tomorrow, so today I need to do like laundry and clean the apartment and pack and all that kind of fun stuff you do before you go on a trip. But before I get like too far into like what I'm doing today. I did want to quickly talk about the books I've read recently because I think I've read a couple since the last vlog. I think in the last vlog I was reading Heartbones by Colleen Hoover and I finished that. Loved it. Five out of five stars. It's not as like spicy as some of her other novels. So if you like know Colleen Hoover, she writes some spicy romance novels. Um, Heartbones was not as spicy it, it's still a romance novel so there's gonna be romance but it was definitely more on like the tame side compared to some of the other books i've read of hers um but i absolutely loved it i loved the concept of like heart bones like what heart bones are and i found it a little bit relatable so i absolutely loved that book i would highly recommend if you're into romance novels and the reason i started reading that book is because i saw a tiktok that was like if you like this show you should read this book and the show is outer banks on netflix and it said you should read heart bones and it kind of is like outer banks um like she comes from a very like poor life and he comes from a very like rich life um but you find out it's deeper than that so anyways highly recommend. And then after that, I read A Not So Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. Also five out of five stars. Loved that book. That one is very spicy. Um, so yeah, lots of romance going on in that book. But I loved the storyline. I loved the couple. I thought they were so cute. And it was a big transition from Heartbones because A Not So Meet Cute, they're like, 28 and 35 I think and then heart bones are like 19 like it's a very young relationship versus like whole adults um so very good as well that one is about a guy who needs like a fake fiance to impress like a co-worker and then she needs a fake husband to impress like her friend at a high school reunion so they basically have like this fake romance going on. After that, I had to I had to change it up. I was like, I've read like five romance novels in a row. I need to read something else. So I am currently reading a thriller. But this is what I'm reading now. The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. Um, I think is how you pronounce her name. But um, it's a completely gripping psychological suspense. So I'm on chapter 20 of that book right now, but so far I'm really liking that book and I'll probably finish it sometime in the next week. Right now I am about to get started on my training. I just got a new laptop charger from Amazon along with new pillow slides. Um, these are the ones I have. They're very dirty because they were light gray, but they also ripped. I had these for a year. I ordered them last August, so they honestly lasted me a really long time. But I wanted to get new ones, so I got some black ones. These are a different brand. If you can tell, this one has like a little thing on the side. These do not, and like obviously the bottoms are different. 
um, which this one feels a little small. I was gonna say, they're both a size nine, but this one I feel like fits my foot better than this one. Um, these are like the tiniest bit too small, but they fit, so I'm not gonna return them. But what I was gonna say is, I am an Amazon girly. Like I buy everything off of Amazon. The tripod you're sitting on, Amazon. My entire outfit besides my sweatshirt, Amazon. Like I am an Amazon girly. And so if you want me to do like an Amazon favorites video, please let me know because I would definitely be down to do that. So yeah, let me know if you want me to do an Amazon favorites haul or favorites video for you guys because I have a lot from like all kinds of categories like fitness, clothing, jewelry, accessories. I've got it all. So let me know. Hey guys, it is now almost 11 and I just finished up that one lesson. Um, I am now about to cook my lunch because it takes like 20 minutes to cook. And then by that time, it'll be like almost 11.30 time for lunch. And I'm having a little bit of an early lunch because I did not have breakfast and my stomach is growling. So we're gonna get lunch ready. I am gonna make one of these Red Baron French bread pizzas. These are legitimately like my favorite. Red Baron, hands down, best frozen pizza bread. Don't come at me, DiGiorno, but Red Baron's better. The only thing is I do have to rearrange the pepperoni, but I feel like I do that with every pizza because I just like my pepperoni to be like evenly distributed, you know? Here's a tip that I learned from my friend Jordan when we lived together in college. You should, like if you want your pizza to come out perfect, and I mean, this works every single time I've done it, like it has never failed me, put the pizza in for like right, like preheat the oven and put the pizza in at the same time. Like don't wait for the oven to preheat because that takes too much time. Like ain't nobody got time for that. So for example, these cook on 375. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375 and pretty much at the same time that I preheat the oven, I put the pizza in and then when it says cook it for this time to this time for this pizza it says 20 to 23 minutes you put it on like the high end so you would do it for 23 minutes at the same time and it comes out perfect every single time every single frozen pizza i've ever made if i preheat the oven and put the pizza in and set it for the, like the maximum time it comes out perfect every single time I also have a load of laundry going um, in the washer, so that will be moved to the dryer soon. And then while the pizza is cooking, I have some dishes to take care of. So let's do it. Here is my lunch. We didn't have any more big plates, so I had to put it like on a small plate, but that's okay. Here's my pizza, and then I just have some salt and vinegar chips on the side. I also made some chocolate milk, so yeah. Hey guys, so I just finished up lunch, so I'm about to get started on cleaning the downstairs. Mainly just like cleaning the kitchen, sweep, mop, all that jazz. Um, so I'm just going to time lapse it and let's get cleaning.
Hey guys, so I just finished vacuuming upstairs. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, but now I have to fold all this laundry, but that is the last thing I have to do cleaning wise. Yeah, so now I'm going to fold a whole bunch of laundry.